to reiterate for the losers. Alright, like I said, these folks are fucking top notch. Stupid. Stupido. Retardido. Just top notch. I don't know what it's supposed to do, what it's supposed to elicit, some kind of subliminal. Like, like I, uh, I'm trying to figure out what the, because all I see is just stupidity. My analogy for y'all, say you buy, like I said, Italian raviolis all the time. You know, that's your favorite fucking food. I don't care if it's challenged. That I'm just, it's just an analogy. So... I guess when they get, I, I pissed them off about something, I guess I made a good video yesterday. So today, if I go, you know, I went to the store today, so you got a person dressed like same shoes or whatever. Uh, and and it's, they're, they're pretty, you know, like I said, I know they're stupid people. Uh, we can buy shoes too. No, bitch. All right, that's not what I'm mad about. If it was a normal person, if gang stalk didn't exist, I promise you. I wouldn't be mad. It's, that's something that women do. That's some whole shit. Oh, she got on the same dress. Oh, oh you know, at the most, I'm going to be like, damn. Guess these shoes are pretty popular. At the most, I'm going to have to switch my game. Maybe I got to make some more money and buy another pair because everybody got them now. But at the most, I'm not going to be mad at the person. He's like, oh, shit, that nigga's kind of cramping my style. So anyway, so it, but the point is, I did buy shoes. That's another just like everything. I buy things that I know. A lot of people don't have a specific color. So anyway, they got this dumbass nigga in today. I went to the store as usual. My usual whatever, get out. And uh, you know, he buys the same product. So and he's also so basically my 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 thing is is like if I always buy something of a different nationality. So they got a fucking uh that would be like a, a, a an Italian dude. And standing in line, you know, they're standing there with a stupid look on their face, waiting on me to get there. You know, look, give me a, you know, because I guess they're gang stalking. They got to hit their mark just like any other employee. So I guess he's trying to make sure I'm the I'm the target. And then he's buying something Italian out the supermarket, you know, beef or whatever, anything. And he's also Italian, you know, obviously. Well, how can you, you know, miss me with all that political correct, correct crap shit? It is political crap political crap shit uh you know whatever you know that's why y'all fucking losing in it <laughs> in life period i don't know who is it's a game this whole new new style of trying to win an argument with this political correctness shit is for losers straight up i don't advocate the old days when people were bullied but it seemed like it was better for all the losers their own good y'all really don't know how to win an argument or a fight and it, the two do go hand in hand if you physically won fights. You can't win the argument. It's not because you threaten them. You just, you know how it feels to get hit. You could take a punch. You could definitely get one. But just this, this, the idiot, the stupidity of the shit <laughs> that these motherfuckers do, man. I'm telling you, it, it, it is fucking retarded, man. I know, I, I know. The, the, is the old word you're not supposed to say that but these motherfuckers are, 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 and they want to get they had the nerve to get offended when you do stupid shit like that and and the look on it of indignant of or on their face the, the you know just indignant just just the slang word just like what <laughs> it's fucking oh my goodness it's like nigga I, I, so you know I had a conversation about some a different specific product. So they had the other day with one of the uh, gang stalker uh, cashiers at the closest store to me. That's, you know, I, I really go to every day because it only takes like five minutes, you know, the whole thing there and back. So as usual, you know, we, we struck up a little conversation. So yesterday I was talking to them. And so today they got a, it's a, a different product from a different nation. And they got a guy. <laughs> you know, like I said, it would be if we was talking about beef ravioli, and because I said it, I, I, you could say I'm the crazy. No, these folks are the crazy. Look at other people's videos, especially where they confront gang stalkers. Trust me, it, this is real. This is a real deal. That's how stupid these motherfuckers are. And you could say, well, they're not. The, they're just following orders. No, man. Just, just like you got the the these young kids who hate authority. 
I, I would question the orders, but okay, well then why are y'all doing something that's clearly embarrassing to you? Clearly stupid. Clearly, if you're clearly if you're a man, it emasculates you. You know, following behind another dude. You know, having the 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 the, the you know plan your day around some other grown man, and you're a man. You know, that 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 that, that clearly is emasculating you. I mean, it's not your boss that's getting on you. That's that's making you feel like shit. It's not your, you know, whatever else the situation. It's the fact that you're a gang stalker. You hate it, and you know, especially if you're gang stalking me. That's why I tell people, you know, just keep doing. Don't worry about these idiots. They're getting their feelings hurt, you know, because you're a bitch, man. That's what happened to bitches. That's what happened. It's going to get much worse. So pri uh, I'm trying to tell you, bro. It's not going to get no better. You following me to fuck around is not going to change shit. That's why I'm putting out these words. I hope if I could just reach one motherfucker. <laughs> y'all, I promise y'all not going to have a good life. <laughs> That's a fucking fact And this ain't no threat to regular people You can try to flip it But like I said I'm not worried about it Because you're a fucking idiot All of y'all are fucking idiots It's clear Just like before One of the reasons you were mad at me before Decades ago when I was younger And I didn't know that it was a fucking cult that y'all are in Oh he always win an argument It's not an argument It's not You know I'm not trying to win you know, I'm not bullying you, the person. That's how I won. I won because I had, I, my, I had the most logical argument, and so we had a third party. That's why I fucking won. It's not nothing to brag about. Like I said, I'm gonna win unless I don't know the facts. And like I said, if I don't, then I acquiesce. No problem. As a man, that's no problem. The other ones who can't admit when you're a fucking wrong, so you join the fucking cult for losers. That's why they. I told you. That's why they sought y'all out. Cause y'all are fucking losers. They can sniff y'all out. Hey, you want to join this cult? I mean, this group? <laughs> and y'all are like, yeah, sure. Where'd I sign up? Sign me down for 10 years? Shit, I can't wait. When do I get started, boss? <laughs> you know, y'all, <laughs> stupid shit. So, I had plenty of people that hurt my feelings when I was in grade school and middle school. I never forget that shit. Yeah, they, they pulled out my, they gave me wedges. And, you know, just all types of stupid shit y'all still mad about. Like, like we did it to you. Like, nigga, I ain't had time to be fucking with you. Especially not in high school. Not be bullying nobody. That take up too much of my time. You know, I had other shit to do. But, anyway, this is a two-part one. Let me go on and talk about what I was, another uh, comment I saw in a, a YouTuber that I follow. Uh, black guy all right so he's making us uh he's he covers serious you know whatever whatever anyway long story short it's political politically charged so you're scrolling through you know i've left comments and nowadays it's out as usual but you're gonna expect i finally see one of the comments is a, a woman white woman you know from a uh uh picture with her screen name so she says that you you know you're liars you're gonna you know burn to hell yada yada yada, and but she added up with scriptures you know to back her up. So you know I see it has replies, view replies. So let me see what the replies say. Sure enough, first reply. So bitch, you are gonna uh, wish hell on people? <laughs> you know I had to say so, and it's like no, you fucking idiot. Wishing hell is like it's basically what I was just talking about. Somebody hurts your feelings and. and and you wish in hell no bitch what she said is 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 basically it does, if you're a believer that is a fact if you're breaking these rules and tenets that, that's not a wish that's like as if somebody says sees you every day speeding up and down the same you know you got you live on the main street that guy is going to kill somebody one day or that guy is going to get a ticket speed limits clearly 20 miles an hour that's not wishing a ticket on you because some stupid people will say that that has happened i've heard that why are you wishing that type of shit on me man you know what i'm saying it's like no bro if you keep goddamn breaking the speed limit on this street you bound to get pulled over and that's a fact and you tell them that it's like i ain't gonna feel sorry for you because i warned you man slow the fuck down nigga so that's what that is, bro. That's not a fucking wish. That's what I'm saying. These, 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 these motherfuckers nowadays, they don't even think. Now, if you don't believe, then just don't say anything because it shouldn't bother you anyway. That wouldn't bother you. So I think it's probably someone who don't believe. So they're like, see, I told you these Christians are hypocrites. They are uh, wishing hell on people. That's not a wish, brother. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So just keep your mouth shut. 
If you don't believe, I mean, you would have been better off saying that's why I don't believe in any guy, that any type of guy. You know, just hit hit me with that hit with that shit. I let you, hey, whatever. You know, does shake, does let them go. Ain't no argument. But that, hey, you you know, you, you keep doing this and that. That that is a that's not a wish. <laughs> you know, that's a likelihood. You're increasing the likelihood that what they their prediction is gonna come true. Because you're always breaking the speed limit up and down this same street every single day, you know. That's not a wish. That's not nobody wishing harm on you or wishing you new tickets that you got to pay. <laughs> it's like y'all need to learn a diff. That's what I'm saying. It's like they're trying to pump all this shit where people don't into the media and all that. And I ain't even getting all that up. But where people don't like to think that, no, that's not what that person is saying, man. Think for a second. Come on, quit being so emotional, man. That's <laughs> just, you know, because I'm at the point of fucking leave him alone. Let him go. But, so, and, I, I, and my thing is, like I said, they have, I know what, what I'm saying is, another reason I answer, like I said, you know that the gang stalks all over. They follow you in life. They follow you on social media. And it doesn't bother me. Cause like I said, it gives me joy, and, and they get they get upset. They really do, cause you know I curse somebody. And he's, oh, why would you say something so mean? And it doesn't matter, cause also I make it so so a person who doesn't know about gang stalking, it doesn't look like I'm just some asshole jumping on people in the in the comment section. It's like and they get, well, I was I wasn't rude. It, it is like I know you answered me because you, but I did. I, I ain't gonna say that. You know, I'm just gonna hurt their feelings, and they just go. You know, they, cause you know, you can tell when it's a woman, they always end with "Have a nice day" or you know, some some shit like that. You can tell it's probably a black woman. <laughs> they try to be like they like they shut you up. You know, have a nice day. Or, I ain't got time. You know, whatever. You know, try to be curt, short and short and curt with you, short. You know, whatever. And uh, it's like you're a gang stalker. Just 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 chill. <laughs> and it's like they choose the people who. Refuse to enlighten themselves. You can do it yourself. You might even go to church every day, and I know for a fact the statistics about church goers and being knowledgeable. So you probably never really your whole. You could be eighty every Sunday faithfully if you were sick. I mean, it wasn't sick if you was healthy. All you read was what they told you with the. Uh, so and y'all can stop me about this, y'all. Y'all, hey. Tonight, tomorrow, y'all YouTube it up or whatever on the regular. Use my, uh, you're gonna owe me for intellectual property though. That too. So, uh, the, the, th- <laughs> I said it's like it's so, it's like, that's what's so amazing. Like, there's some of them have to be intelligent, they can't be stupid. I mean, is that it? Is that the, the, you know, the show punk. Am I being, you know, at, at this level? Is it to the point where they just said, fuck it. He, he already knows he's not going to harm himself or anybody else. Well, fuck it. Just keep fucking with it anyway. You know, he, he still ain't going to enjoy himself. Well, not, he is, but at least it ain't going to be totally, you know, he'll never have a 10 day. You know, on a, on a, how was your day today? It'd always be a seven or an eight. Even if it would have been for anybody else, it would have been 15. You know, oh, it was great. Awesome. But we're always going to be there to at least make it an eight at the moment. But like I said, hey, that means you spent your time fucking with me instead of doing what you wanted to do or had to do to increase your standings for you and your family. Instead, you were fucking with me because I know they're not giving you that much if you're on this low, you little weak bitch. But uh, just just stupidity. It is like ain't nobody wishing nothing, at least not in that statement. And... You know, in that uh, comment, it's like, that's not a wish, man. <laughs> it's just, That's just the way it is. It, you know, with humans, like I said, you keep speeding. Yeah, you might not get caught because state troopers, police, whatever, are human. They got limits unless, you know, they put the cameras up. So, yeah, you might, you might not get caught. But if you're a believer, we're talking about all seeing omnipotent, know everything. So, yeah, there's no way out of it. And especially if you're, what I, the reason that y'all mad about me saying that uh, about y'all for the gang stuff is Nathan, that's like I said, it's not a wish. Because if you remember when I first said it, it took me a long time. Like, I can't believe there's actually a time where you can act because it's not, you're not really not supposed to be able to. I'm talking about logically, like, because you can't, you can't predict that. But it's like, with you people, you can. 
because you're in a cult. It's like if you're you worship the devil. That is a fact because you're not going to change. You're not going to profess Christ because you're professing the devil. So that's not a wish that you're going to burn in hell. That is, if by our belief and your beliefs, what is going to happen? That's logic. That's not a wish. There's no such thing as a wish, you stupid bitch. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You joined a fucking cult. So uh, I guess... It, you plan that you hope that you die some kind of death where you can do a deathbed confessional and conf you know you you know when you're going to die you got a a, a a a a terminal illness or you know whatever you you just have time you know if you get shot or something you're in a car accident you you're hoping you're playing you're gambling basically with your soul you hope you're gonna have time to you know dying breath oh i profess jesus Christ. you know something like that, that that's what y'all hoping because that's the only way i see all right enough of y'all suckers